Good morning everybody welcome back to data structures lab in today's class let us see lab program 2 which is related to strings let me read out the problem statement design develop and implement a program in c for following operations on the string the first operation read main string str pattern string pat and replace string rep second operation perform pattern matching operation find and replace all the occurrences of pattern in the str with the replace string if pattern exists in the main string report suitable message in case pattern does not exist in the main string support this program with functions for each of the above operation and do not use built in function they are clearly mentioning that we should not use string library functions like str len str cpy str cmp so let me directly start with the output uh, when you run the program how the output looks like I have taken uh, basically three samples. Let us see sample one. When you run it, it will ask enter main string. I'll give input good morning. Then it will ask enter pattern string. I'll give morning. Then it will ask enter replace string. I'll give evening. You can see that the pattern string morning is present in main string good morning. So what happens since pattern is there in the main string all the occurrences of pattern will be replaced by replace string then we get a resultant string as good evening why we got good evening because the pattern morning is already present in the main string good morning let us take a second sample when you run the main program the main string is test pattern string is te is te present in the test yes first two characters are there what is the replace string you have given re so what is the resultant string we get we get rest let us say sample 3 when you run the program it will ask a main string i'll give hello then it will ask pattern string i'll say how how is not at all present in the hello but still it will read it will ask enter replace string i'll give mor okay so since how is not present in the hello whatever program should display it should display pattern does not exist this is how the program works let us take an example uh, say I'll, I'll take the same example good morning let us see how the pattern matching works there are basically two things when both the character matches what happens when both the character do not match what happens this is what we have to see so I'll just align main string good morning against the pattern morning let us see what happens start uh, with the pattern matching so in pattern matching what we do is i'll start with the first character what is the first character g match first character of main string with a pattern string g and m are they same they are not same when they are not same copy this g from main string to resultant string so whenever mismatch happens i'll copy the character from the main string and i only increment corresponding index of main string so where we are now we are in index one where is the patterns index still it is there at zero only because mismatch has happened compare o with m are the same not same when they are not same copy this character from main string to resultant string that's it and increment the corresponding index of main string where the index comes in main string it is there at al index 2 now again compare o with m see this did not increment what index will increment only uh, main strings index will increment whenever mismatch happens right so compare this o with m again mismatch happened so i'll copy o from main string to resultant string this is how we are generating the output then increment corresponding index of main string d and m are the same they are not same whenever mismatch happens copy the main strings character from main string to resultant string you can see how we got good in the resultant string now again increment the index of main string you can see that index location is 4 where space is there 
compare the space with m again mismatch happened so copy space also to resultant string and increment the index of main string so where we are right now we are in location 5 of main string compare this m with this m you can see that yes both the characters are same for the first time we got a condition where the character from main string is matched with character of pattern so when m and m are same this time you have to increment the index of main string also and pattern string also then go for matching o with o both the characters are same increment both the indexes so index will come to seventh location in pattern it will come to second location r and r are same increment patterns index also and main string index also and compare n with n they are same next compare i with i again they are same compare n with n again they are same right compare g with g once again they are same when you increment next time what is the location we are in we are at a location 7 where there is even if it is not visible there is null character when there is null character you have to come back to a location 5 this location and from this location you have to just copy all the characters from replace string to the resultant string till it till the resultant string reaches the end of the input so we go on copying e here v e n i n g so whenever all the occurrences of replace string are over we are going to assign a null character at the end of the string so that it becomes a perfect string good evening so this is how the logic works basically there are two things once again i'll repeat whenever mismatch happens copy the character from main string to resultant string whenever matching happens increment both the indexes of main string and pattern go for matching next characters right so whenever you reach end of the pattern you have to go to replace string and keep copying all the characters from replace string to resultant string till you reach end of the input this is how the logic works now let us uh, come back to the program i'll start with the main program when you run this program what is the output we get so this is a main program it will ask enter main string we will input main string then it will ask pattern string we will input pattern it will ask replace string we will input replace why we are using get s yes, in place of scanf because you may input a string uh, like this good followed by space followed by morning so whenever you want to read any input that has space in between you have to go for get s compared to scanner so once you read all these characters you can call string match function then the control comes back here see there are basically two operations that happen see we have taken uh, str of 100 to store main string pattern of 50 to store pattern replace of 50 to store replace string answer of 100 variable to store the resultant string what are the indexes you have taken i j c m k and flag will be set to zero see all these index variables will be either pointing to main string pattern string replay string or resultant string so i'll initialize all these variables to zero okay now we have to start from the first character start continue see this is a continuous operation character by character you are going to match what will be the first character zeroth location see what is the value of c here the value of c is zero right what is there in str of zero g g is not equal to null condition is true i'll just i'll just explain only two iterations henceforth you will understand what are the two operations that are happening i already traced if the matching happens how the algorithm works if matching doesn't happen what how the algorithm works right so we will we are in first character of main string 
first character is g g is not a not a end of the string condition is true compare first character of main string with first character of pattern what is there in the first character of uh, main string g what is there in pattern of uh, first character it is e are they same they are not same when they are not same see mismatch happened right so when mismatch happens it will not execute these operations whatever is there in the if, if will be bypassed it will go back to else part see what it is doing copy the zeroth location of main string to zeroth location of resultant string what is there in the zeroth location of main string g copy g to the first location of resultant string increment the index of resultant string increment the index of main string and assign c to m because whenever match happens no this is a location from where we go on copying the replace string okay and reset i equal to 0 whenever mismatch happened we should only increment main strings index we should not increment resultant strings uh, sorry patterns index okay so g and m mismatch happened so what we do we will uh, just copy g from main string to resultant string again it is a while loop control will come back to the same location see while loop what is c value now it is 1 index value will be 1 what is there in str of 1 you can see o o is not equal to end of the string condition is true correct now the first character of main string is o first character of pattern is m again mismatch happened so control will come back to else in else part the second character of main string will be copied to resultant string increment both the indexes take the c into m and reset i equal to 0 since it is while loop again control comes back here right so continuously this is how the when whenever there is a mismatch else part will be executed now let us see what happens if the pattern and main string matches let us assume that the index of main string is at m pattern string is also m both the characters match increment both the characters check whether you reached the end of the input if you did not reach the end of the input what you can do is you can increment m and i already they are incremented copy that m into c come back here go for next character o matched with o increment both pattern and main string check whether you reached the end of the input if not you can just initialize i equal to 0 and copy m into c come back here okay so again you you will see the next character is r with r both the indexes will increment check whether it is the end of the input if not set i equal to 0 copy m into c come back here so again see the next character will be r r is not is not the end of the input compare r in the main string r in the pattern string both match increment both the indexes so this keeps on repeating till what we reach end of the pattern so whenever all the characters in the pattern get smashed this is a logic see the, the for loop will keep copying all the occurrences of replace string to the answer from which location it will do j will be already there see j is at a index location 5 right from fifth location onwards it keeps on copying see k value is 0 copy the zeroth location of replace string to answer k becomes 1 copy the next character into answer k becomes 2 copy the next character of replace string to answer so you have to keep repeating it okay so whenever you reach end of the main string while loop terminates see we will come back to this line when while loop terminates you have to assign null character to answer okay if you miss it you will not find the resultant string in the output so this is all about second program thank you very much